now it is time. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers did Yeah, this is this. not a Reaper thing. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? Who do you think? It's the Thame. Her image became more like ours over time. You mean your ancestors tried to hide the truth? I think they just tried to make I'm it. I'm still not willing to believe any of that's more real. palatable. Then why does the Thame speak Prothean? What do you mean? Oh. There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though a thane does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. E there is a universal energy. Ah, there's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. Yeah. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are holding the knowledge of my race for their own. That's the other reason. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. It does explain Asari superiority, uh, which is hilarious. Because again, the Asari were the ones, part of the ones who made the rules that if a Prothean technology is found, it has to be shared with everybody, right? And it turns out the Asari are hiding this stuff. <laughs> you know, it's like wow. Oh god, and that's why it would be a really huge deal that the Asari are supposed to be the best ones in the galaxy, the peacekeepers, the the rule keepers, the you know. And they uh, they turns out they uh, they break the rules just like the rest of us. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. This temple is thousands of years old. Time enough to make serious progress. That doesn't make it true. You can't keep denying reality, Asari. Even a small amount of data would give your species an edge. Or are you insulted that your government didn't involve you? He's being an absolute dick. <laughs> but now, like, the more I look at it, the more I want... This has to be, like, an intentional design, right? Of, like, well... Yeah, I think it has to be an intentional design of the Protheans, is that they do look at least a tiny, tiny bit with their head shape tiny bit like Asari. It makes it easier for the Asari. And this is like, like Horizon Zero Dawn does this really well, right? Where it's like little things. There's always grains of truth, kernels of truth in every myth, in every, everything you consider a myth, everything you consider a legend, there is somewhere a grain of truth in there of something that actually happened. Or something to explain a phenomenon or an event, you know? Um, and so freaking... It's not even that, like, the Asari intentionally changed the shape of a Thame over time. It's just natural that you would make... That's why, like, a lot of the Egyptian gods, like, they, they have human humanoid forms, right? Like, it's why um, so many gods and, and deities have, have, have human form, is that, like, it makes it easier to extrapolate our own experiences onto them or to have them understand us you know what i mean like it's a, it's a reciprocity thing right where like your deities are going to look like you over time and it helps that the protheans especially the head shape i feel is is you know the face is very different but like the head shape and especially a simplified style over time slowly again it's like i said with the medieval art right where like the hu the humans are like the, the people like the apostles mary blah 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 um they look odd but they're still kind of human looking but then it moves more like later especially i think christ goes through this big thing where like the depictions of christ change over time to be like really like like sunken and like in pain looking you know and so it, even like the depictions of, of of an entity that we can we can trace through throughout time we can see it right like we can trace like depictions of christ um or the buddha you know or anybody like that throughout time and be like oh yes i can see where things changed or like deviations or derivations you know like i think derivations is the right word i'm looking for but like um just like versions you know you can trace them all back so it's not impossible especially in like simplified symbological styles like it's easy enough to sort of change that a tiny tiny bit over time to be almost unrecognizable at the end um or at least a little bit you know what i mean like just enough and anyway this is i'm going off but like i shouldn't but like it's just like it's so exciting <laughs>
The Mars ruins are where humanity got Mass Effect technology. And we learned of it from the ruins of the Inusaman. The Inusaman! The came before us. It was our secret for centuries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find that, out. Yep. Yeah. We're not the few records I can access very talk nuanced. about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. What? Very handy to have a Prothean here. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean. I mean, I got a Prothean right it here. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharaohs yeah, years a, ago. I got one right. Or it could be the Prothean yeah. standing next to Yay! Time. So, again, if Javi wasn't here, it would be me It'd be reacting Keep to me. There have to be more connections nearby. No connection here. But, uh... Um, the end of the war is near. Find what we need. Oh, okay. Finish the Calm down. And vengeance is complete. Calm down. We're not gonna do the codices. I think, uh... I'm gonna go with... The statues? Doesn't look like Dang a connection. Dang it! At least the shield and the sword have to be. Watch it as the codices. <laughs> there, another one. This doesn't uh, appear to be a connection. We should keep searching. I don't want to touch the mathematics ones. Those were dumb. It's gaining power. It's still not complete. <laughs> there is nothing useful here. I mean, I'm working on it, Javik. Calm this down. This confirms the Asari owe your superiority to Oh, my calm people. down. And you owe the Mass Effect relays to the Reapers. Yeah, yeah. How did that turn Ooh, out? Oh, good job, good job. So you do, but <laughs> good. <laughs> we'll need <laughs> Listen, I know. Listen, I know that was just him, like trying to push her. Cause I think that's what he. Did. I think that's what he does. Is he pushes people to try to like be angry, but to like utilize that anger in a fight, right? But the fact that they ended up so close together for that, he's like, woo -hoo! <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> hang on, hang on, I am. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna photo mode this. Listen, if you can't tell, I am sort of a fan. Of uh, this this ship, I'm trying to get a good picture. Wow, he was so angry. <laughs> Oops, how did you? <laughs> oh, this is a good one. With the oh my gosh, it's actually really like thematically like appropriate for what's in the background and everything too. Now mimics that. <laughs> I'm good. Anyway, the and the butler, I I do I do kind of ship these two together, but only like only a little because he's he he changes a little bit eventually. But there have to be more connections. Nearby. Right now he's not very nice, and so I wouldn't want to put that on her. You know what I mean? Like he's got to have a little give in him. Of course. That was an accident. I didn't mean to press C. I can't believe that they would like. The activation is complete. <laughs> we can access the beacon Th now. That the activation would just tear apart the 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 statue. You know, I feel like they would try to keep it hidden still, or at least covered. It doesn't need to break it. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to. Oh, hello, hello. Last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post Prothean cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. No, come back. Hold on. We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct at Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He is just like a scientist. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. Were all Protheans so grim? I mean, they were living in, like, 
a 100 year war of extermination, you know? I don't think there's not a lot of time for joviality. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later, we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. Then now we're facing the same problem. Yeah. Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. Yep, we've seen the repetition that. is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. Though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. It has been where, like, uh... Oh, shoot, what was I gonna say? Um... The, the, the AI, or machine versus organic, has been something that's happened over and over and over again, as we will see later. There's even more evidence of this, of it going back cycle after cycle after cycle after cycle. There's still hope for this cycle. We need to know what the catalyst is. Trillions of lives are at risk. Trillions of lives are always at risk. Yeah. But if the Reapers have arrived to end your cycle, this discussion is too late. We can break the cycle. We found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not a Prothean design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Yeah, I don't know if any of them have completed it fully right but yeah it's kind of wild that it's like everything that we thought was Prothean in many ways is is not <laughs> it's much older then we'll be the first tell us what the catalyst is listen to the human she can be trusted I detect you are one of oh, us oh you are Prothean you the last I am the final hope to avenge our people your mission was known to me do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution they have earned the right to try. Tell us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the Catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. Oh, hey! You bastard! <laughs> I'm gonna kill this you. man! You kill. Then why wasn't he already in here? Your attention. Someone would like to talk with you. I hate this man so much. I should stab him right now. I haven't seen you in ages, Shepard. my guy. How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard! Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. No, it does. Yeah! <laughs> They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. No, you don't, bud. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? Yeah, I wish I could. I mean, I could. Maybe I will, actually. Hmm. If I have enough to do it, maybe I will. The Reapers have it right? You're indoctrinated. You're doing just what they want. I could say the same of you. Wasting time on a war that can't be won. At least I'm fighting. Never question my ability to fight. I've been fighting them longer than you can imagine. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. You've forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic. But as usual, you 
miss the point. The world is more great. I I don't know. I want to chop his legs off. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please relieve her of it. And then bring me the data. Understood. I, I hate this guy. Oh my gosh, he just one shot. Oh my gosh. I've been hit. Come. What a coward! Coward! I'm stuck. He's such a coward. I'm trying. Oh my gosh. You're just a coward, and I hate you so much. I can't. I'm gonna have a hard time. Your friend Thane died. I'm gonna. Oh no, he didn't. He died like a. Oh my gosh, he died like a hero, man. He died protecting people. What do you mean he died like a coward? He, well, I guess he he died in a hospital room, but he died trying to protect people. He wouldn't have died like that if it wasn't for you. Punch you! I need to recharge. Cover me. God, this is so lame. I don't know how we're supposed to beat him. He's like, he's like, Thane died like a coward, and I'm like, you're the one who's like, I gotta go, I gotta go do my stuff in the corner. Finally, a real beat. You had your fun. It's a pity the good ones never last. He's also just running around like an idiot. Look at him. What an idiot. There's only one way this happens. Yeah, if you would just. Uh oh. If you would actually do something. Target the supports. You're an idiot! You're an idiot! <laughs> You're gonna break the thing you came for! Oh, I hate this man so much. And he's also just a really dumb character. Like, his whole thing is just dumb. Unnecessarily, like, plot heavy, you know? Like, he has plot armor out the wazoo. I could have killed this man weeks ago. So many reasons to kill you, guy. Out of everybody, he's the one I hate the most. Like, he didn't even attack me, really. He just freaking, like, ran around in circles. Shepard! Hang on! There is no way she'd be able to pull me up. This is really frustrating. When you look out at the destruction of Thessia and go, well... This frequency. Yeah. This is Lieutenant Kuren. My squad is trapped. This is Shepard. Give us your location. I repeat, is anyone on this frequency? We read you. Give me your look. The lieutenant's down. The whole zone is collapsing. What happened to Shepard? Did they make it to the temple? I saw them. Wait, I've got to read what about. Please, is anybody there? Wait, oh, goddess. No!
it all feels like for nothing, you know? Counselor? The mission... We've lost the contract with the It's gone dark. How soon will the Crucible be ready to deploy? Counselor, I... I wish the news was better. We didn't get the information. What happened? Cerberus was there. We were... We were defeated. We don't know how to finish the Crucible. I... I don't know what to say. What was the situation on Thessia? Deteriorating fast. The Reapers are there in strength. Then you'll excuse me. There are... preparations to make. Continuity of civilization to consider. I never thought this day would come. None of us did. Sorry, she's only one woman, you know? She can't do it all. Nobody helped her. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard. I... Nobody could have predicted Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. It's my job to be prepared. No matter what. And now Thessia's lost, as is the data on the Catalyst. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Well, I mean, I think we would have shared. Um... Well, there is something. Let's hear it, trainer. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But the signal disappeared in the Yera system. Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure, but something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Commander, the Yera system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war. <sighs> you think it's worth checking out, trainer? Yes, Mom, I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Oh, thank you, Edie. Edie's got her back. Nice work, trainer. You've given us a shot. Now let's make sure we don't waste it. I was stationed on Horizon in the Lyra system, and you were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the Catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCon. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> don't know if I can take a call from him. Oh, yeah, I didn't think I was actually going to cry again, but I definitely did. <laughs> that final scene gets me every time, apparently. Just the hopelessness of it all. And seeing Shepard's reaction on it, like, I truly enjoy that. One of the things I enjoy the most about Mass Effect 3 is, like, the detail of Shepard just looking like a woman who's, uh, like, on the edge, you know? Like, she's, like, trying everything she can, and, like, it's not enough, right? Like, when it has been in the past, like, eat, but despite her best efforts here, you know, like, and in certain situations, like, she can't save everyone, and it's 
tearing her apart, you know? Even if she knows she can't save everybody, like, watching a planet be torn apart in front of her, especially with flashbacks to Earth, right? Like, thinking that this is how... I mean, the Reapers are punching through on Thessia very hard and very fast because they know that an, a biotic population is a big threat. But still, like... Yeah, watching that whole scene go down is... And, like, seeing the way Shepard just leans up against the wall, like, she's so tired, you know? And, like, is dreading talking to anybody about it, you know? that like, And I like that humanity. I like that we see that on her, and it makes it feel a lot more real, not just, like, yeah, we'll get through it, darn, you know, it was a hurdle, but, like, watching those people die horribly, or, like, listening to them die horribly, trying to believe in Shepard, and knowing that, like, she also, like, when they died, they that their faith in her was sort of misplaced, right? She didn't get the information, and all those all those soldiers died to get her there. And while she did get there, she didn't get what she came for. You know, and they died not knowing if it was worth anything. You know, so anyway, it's really really rough. <laughs> I had a really hard time with that the first time around. I had to take a break for a while, but you know, Shepard keeps going, so I'll keep going. <laughs> but anyway, I'll go ahead and call it here. Thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And uh, before I go, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.